Hey guys, Tyronical here, and welcome to episode 11 of Tyronical Reviews, and this one's a little bit different. I am joined by Mom, fellow Biotuber, great creator, and I don't know what's going on with your mic, you're static or something. Uh, I was just breathing in, yeah. Uh, okay. Great creator here. Yes, hello. and hello, yeah. And today, um, we're gonna be, um, uh, doing a collaboration to review an animation that was actually recommended to me by one of my viewers, Creepy Biotube Stalker. And I never actually, I never gave you a shout out, Creepy Biotube Stalker, if you're watching this. And I'm totally not looking up the animation right now because I forgot who made it. Uh, yeah, I never gave you a shout out, and I should have because you've also been really supportive to me, Creepy Biotube Stalker. So yeah, I never gave you a shout out, and I probably should have. And I also never gave you a shout out, Great Creator. So yeah. That's okay. All right. But, um, yeah, so um, we're kind of both going to be giving our thoughts on the free things um, that I, like, the free attributes I review with. Let me just find the video. Uh, the video was made by, uh, I'm t I probably should have looked at this in advance. Uh, oh, dang it. Uh. Alright, I'll look that up later. Alright, but, um, yeah, so, uh, story, this is, um, like a free long trilogy. Um, and did you watch the first two, actually? I watched a bit of the first one, yeah. I didn't watch any of the second, though. Um, yeah, I watched, um, I watched, uh, the third one, uh, like, or the one we're reviewing now. I watched that one, like, a really long time ago. Like, um, I'd say, like, three months ago. And then I just recently, today, actually, that, um, I watched the first two today. And, uh, yeah, I will say that the third one is definitely the best out of the three. For, for sure, yeah, the animations are uh, very good yes um so um yeah so the story is basically um we're in a bedroom and um it's hold on i'm trying to find oh yeah here it is by paley p-a-l-i-e i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right but he's the man who made all three of these i should have known that beforehand but uh yeah so the story is basically we're in a bedroom and um t uh three uh basically there's like um, there's a gang of toys called the Banana Gang, very, um, very, uh, fitting. Unique name. Yeah, unique name, um, and they're, uh, tormenting all the other toys, basically, and then the, uh, Water Voyatoran, I don't know, did the Voyatoran have individual names? Do you know? They had names, but I don't think they were really important. Yeah, they weren't important to the story, really. Uh, yeah, he, um, goes into, um, it was probably a she, actually, but, um, look, but this definitely... Like, the, the main character of the, um, all three of them is Howie, and he has, it's a, and it's a she in the story. This is definitely not going for, like, bionicle accuracy, but I guess, I guess that's fine, I guess. But, uh, yeah, the, um, Water Voyator and gets what I'm assuming was a Toa Stone. He gets a Xamor Sphere and becomes Howie, and he, and I'll just refer to Howie as a he, even though it's actually a she, because in the anime, I've made this confusing already. I'll refer to Howie as a he. Uh, yeah, he goes out and defeats the Banana Gang. And then, oh my god, I cannot take this seriously. He goes and defeats the Banana Gang and puts them in jail. And then they escape. And then they cause more torment, basically. And then um, in the third one, it's basically just broken out to all-out war. Like, there's, like, a huge... Like, um, you can't see my screen right now, but um, I picked the scene where um, it has, like, the whole army. And they're, like, in the middle. And they're, like, about to fight. Yeah, uh, the... um the opening battle, yeah. Uh, yeah. The leader of the Banana Gang, V. Ice Glatorian, who I totally know the name to, by the way. It's, uh... Strex? Strex, yeah. Th I totally knew that, actually. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's, um, yeah, he's the leader of the Banana Gang, and he's about to fight Howie here. And, uh, yeah, the story's definitely very unique, I'll say that. Because, like, I think probably the part I liked about, um, um, all these animations the most is kind of like... It's kind of like Toy Story, where they kind of, like, they take advantage of, like, the whole thing about, like, toys, like, walking around the house. I, I really liked that. That was, yeah. That was probably my favorite part about it. So what, what did you think on the story? I thought the story was really good, like, in the way he told it. I thought the Banana Gang were a unique set of villains, for sure. I mean, they, like, they had, they didn't really have enough anything to do with bananas. I mean, their flag was a banana, but I mean, like... Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> that was all. That was, uh, yeah. Like, uh, they could have, like, I think it would have been cool if they, like, threw bananas at them or something. Um, that would have right. been a cool idea. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. All right. I'm fairly sure the name was just for... You just for... What, why not? Whatever. It's like the channel. Do you know the channel, uh, Jake the Potato Lord? Do you know that channel? I'm not sure. I 
don't think so though. Right, but yeah, his character can summon potatoes. He's in um he's in a couple of Stardust Films videos. Um, yeah. All right. So I'm um, now moving on to the animation, which is probably I'd I'd call it the second. But, but just the highlight of just the whole series is we were talking about this a bit um a bit beforehand. There's a part where um I guess gravity flips or something. I guess um I guess um They're on the ceiling. I yes. guess. I guess the interdimensional portal from Gravity Falls was starting or something, and uh, <laughs> and um, Gravity got flipped or something, and they started walking on the ceiling. And I don't know how he was able to. Or I know how he did it because there was for like three full frames there was like sticky tag on the character's um, feet. But I, like, yeah, it was like I don't know how he was able to. Be, to yeah, it would have to be really strong sticky tag. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't know where he's getting that, but it was really. Good yeah, stuff, yeah that was like yeah that was definitely the highlight it was yeah that was just uh, that was that was just that was amazing i will say though that probably the worst part of the animation is when they're punching and it's just like two frames of animation yeah over and over yeah, yeah i just uh, i think that's the only flaw with his animation was yeah those i would s yeah i would say though um at some points though there were like the animation could be a little bit like choppy at some points but it was like it's not like it still like looks good at least. I mean it's better than my animation, but yeah. I mean all animation is better than mine, but yeah, alright. But um yeah, so I I call the animation I, I would say that the animation was pretty good. The highlight though was when they were on the ceiling. Like that was that was amazing. For sure. That was a very impressive scene and it probably required a lot of patience. Yes, like I just I like I, I'm I'm assuming that like a guy like a tall like the guy who made this was tall. I'm hoping the guy who made this was taller because I can imagine just have someone having just a ladder and just like needing to. Oh god, that would be a nightmare to do. Oh It'd my be god, crazy! Like yeah, someone who's four foot five yeah, having oh to go god. up on a full on step ladder the whole time, yeah. and take it all down. I don't know how I don't know how long this took him to make. Like in relevance to the other dumb ones, I'll look that up later. But uh, yeah, that was that's that's still just the highlight of the whole series. I mean, we're not reviewing the whole series; we're just reviewing the third. I, I probably I probably yeah. didn't make that clear, but yeah. All right, so now moving on to the uh, kind of how it looks overall presentation. I probably should have named. I probably should have done like a different name for that. But basically, character and set design. Uh, it's basically just taking the sets and just putting them in a house, which is, which I mean, it makes sense in the context of the video, so, like, I'm, I'm fine with it.